ink pens and markers. Um, had a good look for them, I found them all. Uh, there was some like, you know, right at the side of my desk, on the floor and everywhere, so. Um, just trying to find the right ones. Uh, I've got like loads of skin colours, uh, which I need. I just have to get all the refills, which I've sort of organised a bit better. Um, because we need some good flesh colours. Um, just going to find that, um, I forgot to find the image. Hello Ryan, just trying to get set up a bit. I sort of like uh, worked out how to put the chat up on my laptop so I can see on the laptop without having to look back at the phone. So I'm just sorting that out, I'm just trying to find uh, the image with the, the there it is, the colours for this um, Resident Evil William Birkin's mutation thing. Um, just gonna got some colours, but I, I don't think I've refilled them up. Got some cool greys which I can just start to add bits here and there. Yeah, I'll start using that. I just need to put that image at the side. There we go, that'll do. Right, so I'll just start laying in some colours and we'll see if I can finish this. Um, I've got like a load of skin and flesh type tones which I'm going to use as well. squeaky these. <laughs> that means they're running out I think. Need to, as long as I just get like a bit of grey on that. Just to start off. Now I need uh, yeah, oh, they're all over there. Yeah, there's the one grey too. Yeah, just trying to find all the markers. Got like a warm grey three, I might try and add some of that just to add some tone. Um, just underneath before I add like flesh colours and stuff. on that question. I'll have to read, uh, read it a third time. <laughs> if I had to put on sunglasses, the reflection kind of look. I'll put this one. I still don't get it. I'm a bit slow. A bit slow tonight. <clears throat> see them greys. I'm gonna have to fill them greys up a bit more. I've got this warm grey five, that's a bit darker. So as you can see I'm using these Copic markers, um, just like his undertone really, under colours. Cheers Ryan here, yeah. I'm just trying to do it as, as I've like planned during the day, I've sort of like planned some of the colours and things like that so hopefully I can 
create some good like flesh tones on this creature. some more ink in this one. I think I'll use this this like warm grey as like a darker tone for the whole of the image I think. Well the whole of the flesh anyway. Flesh tone. This grey is not too dark that I can um, go over it with some lighter flesh colours as well and it'll still um, it won't like, uh, be overpowered um, or overpower any other colours, it'll just it'll blend nicely with the, the flesh tones later. get the legs as well. Obviously the trousers or what's left of the trousers will be a different colour like a dark blue almost like denim colour I think so. ivory colour uh, I just want to do some so that guy's got like uh, blondish sort of hair so I'll just do like an undertone of that or a darker 
undertone just around the outside, the hairline just to make it stand out a little bit. Um, and I give some other little bits of tone just in key areas I think. Don't want to over go over the top with this colour on the flesh bit. Just want to put some little bits of this colour on it. In the out the outside when it gets lighter, I think I just want to extra tone on there. to refill the markers up that's the only thing about he's having to refill the markers up um, but right now I'm just adding like some grey tone to the piece first <laughs> yeah. drawing a rat's ass yeah I think that was one of my stupid videos just <laughs> I think I was bored that day um, <laughs> I need to do more of them just to amuse myself and that sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I said something like, uh, today we're going to draw a red ass. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, you got to amuse yourself sometimes. here and there. So, let me give some a bit of the yellow in the light, like the blades and that. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I think I can notice like um, improvements like from my older artwork and stuff. Um, definitely, I think that's why I've stuck with it really. <laughs> yeah, I really have a rat's ass video. <laughs> There's a few other daft ones which you know, I probably. I'll just keep up because there's just. trying to just build up like layers of these um, I think I'll, I'll just do the eyes yellow because I can go over them later and it just gives it a nice undertone to do like layers of different colour and stuff like that enough of that colour for now. Um, I'll 
I've got like a fruit pink which I can just start maybe to build up some uh, As it can start off, just giving some like light tones, just on the lighter areas, really. over that as well. I think it is just about building up through you know quite a few layers of different colour. that video that it was only a few second sort of video um. <laughs> yeah I was gonna do a few more of them types of videos but <laughs> a bit daft really So we're slowly building up the shades of colour. Not quite there yet, obviously, but I need more like darker reds, I think. And things like that. I need to work on getting some more different shades of copics because I haven't got all of them, so probably try and fill in the you know, some of the colours with coloured pencils or something. a bit with the orange well it's like it's supposed to be a pink but it looks orange <laughs> like a fruit pink or something I think that's enough with that colour for now I think um, need a few more darker I've got a warm grey 7 I think that was my hope secretly the uh, video just to go viral but <laughs> I wonder if anyone just like <laughs> just found the video like actually wanting to draw like a rat's ass and <laughs> you know <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny just to do something like that. <laughs> 
It's like they found the video and like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not a rat's ass. Drunk. Right, this this is a darker shade now, so I can try and bring maybe some darker shade to the the eyeball. That's all I want. Yeah, some of them logo drawings um, was quite popular. Um, even though I don't in, really enjoy drawing them sort of thing, I just thought I'd, I don't know. I'm going to try and do more like some game type things and um, stuff like that. I think a lot of the times it was just me trying to test what might be um, hopefully popular or get viewed, I don't know. And some of them logo things people are actually looking for, so... Um, there was a couple of logo ones I liked. I, I drew the Ghostbusters logo. I quite like drawing that one. Um, there was a few other things. I think Wonder Woman logo, that was fairly simple to draw. Um, I think that was the comic book logo. Yeah. I think one of my mo most popular videos at the moment, the one that's had quite a lot of views, is how to draw an angel wing, which was just a s real simple uh, thing. I'd like to do maybe a bit more complicated video, you know, draw the individual feathers and stuff like that and colour them. And maybe, maybe try and do that, but, you know, I think... I don't know, it's okay to win them types of videos because that's what people might be searching for but some of the times I don't, I don't enjoy you know, doing them videos I'm doing them just you know, you know, for more for like views really but which you know is, is good but Outlast games, yeah, I'll have to check that out. Uh, I don't think I've, don't think I've heard of it to be honest. Not really, not really big on games at the moment. I've, I just don't have the time. <laughs> but if I like, like uh, look for like inspirations to draw, then I probably would, probably will look them up. My son uh, gets quite a few games on his PlayStation 4 and I see quite a few from there and that and so I'd probably I'd like to draw some more Dark Souls stuff and more Resident Evil stuff. Yeah, I, I do have some free time but not, not much at the moment. Um, Especially when I've got these projects to do that I've, I've signed up for. I'll be getting them fairly soon, probably next week I think. One of them will come in. Yeah, I do, I do watch him on his game, like uh, weekends and that and, and stuff like that. So, but I'm not really good at games, you know, to be honest. Like the games that are out now anyway. Um, but I just probably need to just get a bit better on them and things like that. But it's like films, ga some games, I'm more interested in 
the design of stuff and that and all. You know, like movies and stuff, that just makes me want to draw <laughs> most times. Yeah, I do like Dark Souls. Pretty good. Minecraft looks good. A nice peaceful game, I think that. <laughs> you know, until you get blown up by them, uh, by them green things. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know the names of them. Yeah, Dark Souls 3. That's the one that my son played, he's completed it. But he's um, done like, um, I don't know, when you complete the game, you go on to the plus two game and then plus three, and that it keeps getting harder and harder, he says. So I don't know, you know, to defeat like the bosses and stuff, but yeah. Good games. Right, so I'm getting all the darker areas on this now, um, especially with this ink pen. I'll just have to let one rip. There we go. <laughs> better than waiting. Just had to just let that fart out. Yeah, the Dark Souls, you know, games like... Um, I think that's why I don't play Minecraft too much. I think that's why I'm just thinking it's real peaceful, like, but <laughs> a bit of music on it, like, sometimes just sounded peaceful. more flesh colours like um, got the skin white colour can't find that other one where's that one not sure where them other ones have gone Skin white, I don't know if that's just add a, a shade onto the this guy's face there. Eyes are so I think I've got pink eyes on it, probably. But you can never know. Start a, oh, I need to I need to fill that one up again. What's the colour? E there it is.
central eye. Just a little bit of colour there. It needs a lot of building up that eyeball. I remember the original drawing I did before um, of William Birkins. I got I got a real good reflection sort of thing on the eyeball. I think I did it with coloured pencils, so I'll probably do the same, you know, with that later. somewhere. Maybe start with the, the veins. Okay, Ryan. Hope you get your eyes sorted. There's always like uh, these replays and stuff. Um, well, the replays of this. Oh, that's a nice red, actually. Just want a base of red, just at the base of this eye. Something that I can uh, layer up a bit. on the side of this bit there, not too much, can't really show up then any, anyway because that light's just shining too much on it. Right, what are the colours, try and figure this out, maybe some uh, other grey type colours. If I had too much grey on this, I can just add some white, just to, you know, thin it back out again. Like some white um, coloured pencil or something like that. Just trying to follow the lines that I've already inked. I think some uh, 
There's a warm grey. Warm just on there just to make it look a bit like a sweaty rag. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm still missing some colours. Warm grey too, I don't know what to do for now. like a sand colour. Um, I don't know if I need to refill that up, I'm not sure. It looks like a like a deep sort of orange colour, which I could you know could come in handy I think. Just to draw well the colour these other fleshy bits. be good for the eye as well but I'll probably have to refill it up I think <laughs> bit squeaky though yeah I don't know about that sand colour Looks a bit streaky with the um, the markers, but I can thin that out with coloured pencil later. You know, like proper add proper gradients to this. Um, it's probably going to need more orangey colours going right in the centre. But I need to find the other ink refill of that. I don't know where it's gone. Disappeared. On. Oh wait a minute, it's there. Right in front of my goddamn eyes. <laughs> yeah, because I need more orange, like orange colour on the eye. Because that's going to be the feature, I think. 
that eye is always the feature it needs to have like a real good solid reflection on it later as well so I just refilled that up a bit um, let's maybe try and add some this way go into the centre like that and go over that. It's all done in layers. Um, I've got like a, a spring orange colour. Um, doesn't really matter if it gets streaky because it's going to all get covered anyway. I'm going to try and blend it into the other colours so there's no blend it in right, it still needs more more something round it I think that'll That'll get that with uh, coloured pencil, like I said. But I try and figure out. Got some blue, which I can just add some blue highlights and then darken it later. a bit of grey just to build up a bit of that probably build up the blue colours more with coloured pencils later to these claws So we're getting there, we're getting there. The colours. That's 
So remember, like, like there's loads of darkness on there, so we're just trying to, you know, darken all over there, like towards the highlights. So that's what I'm working towards there. <laughs> Yeah, I think, um, I don't know, I, I didn't think that um, photo th uh, through when I took it. Um, but yeah, I did look a bit crazy there. And it sort of like reversed the image as well, so I, I look even even crazier. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that again. Tones there. Got a cool grey fire as well. I can pick out some more areas just to make it a bit more darker. Good thing about greys is you can just like colour over a lot of them uh, with other colours and then the colours on top of the shine through so if I was to add like a blue on top of that it'd just show up real well I need to fill this one up as well it's an never ending job of trying to fill up these markers drips in the marker. Fill it up slightly. a darker grey just under the, the underneath of there bit. Then I can add some grey here and there just little bits I definitely need to figure out that eye. I think I'm on the coloured pencils, I think now. Uh, Pompeii and red, I think that's. That could be. Best just to uh, tread lightly with these, because. I don't want to press too hard yet, I just want to build up a, like a gradient of the colours. So 
so that needs to be a reflection there so I always have to keep an eye on that area not to like press too hard on that area just around there um, got to keep a mental note of that I think we need some darker reds, I think, just to build up. But I'm just giving a, a little bit of this just to start the process of building up, you know, the layers and stuff. some red that I added here and um, I can just build up a lot of these flesh colours a bit more now by going over some of the grey and bits that I've already sort of added. Yeah, I like different types of music really. Um, I've been listening to a lot of synth wave stuff uh, lately, um, but then I do like some some like death metal type stuff. Or, um, but I'm not too sure. Really. Uh, I still like corn and you know things like that, and um, but I like a mixture of different stuff. Um, I've been listening to um, Birthday Massacre. I think they're called. They're pretty good. Um, Celtic Frost, I think. A few different things. Sometimes, if it's got a good tune as well, I'll probably listen to it. <laughs> You know, I don't usually like what's in like the charts or anything much because it's all like um, it all seems like it's just manufactured garbage. To, to be honest, um, you might get the odd tunes that you, that you might like, but I think it's just I don't know, not really my thing. I like um, independent type, you know, indie type stuff, you know, which isn't like mainstream usually so right so now we can see a lot of these grey colours that I've added in they'll slowly be turning into more fleshy type tones but I just got to build them up lots of layers of stuff layers of red and pinks and other stuff
She has corn on the cob. Just trying to build up the layers of these. Um, it was like using Copic markers, but trying to uh, use like uh, polychroma, Faber Castell pencils, different shades, many like fleshy type colours. Just trying to go over some of them uh, Copic marker grey type colours that I've added just, just for the tone really. Just use as a guide really the Copic markers. Dead to the Sharks, yeah, probably there's, there's loads of bands uh, that I've probably never heard of. <laughs> I, th I think that's one of them. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably check them out. Always check out a recommendation, that's what I say. been listening to a lot of um, like I said earlier on birthday massacre don't know if you've heard of that but I think I've been listening to it that much that all my like uh, sort of like playlists or you know like musical playlists or whatever they just seem to turn into them all the time um, so yeah it was quite like the tunes and that and yeah pretty good Actually, I'm quite liking this actually. Um, doing an okay job with the colours. Like I said, I don't know if I'll finish it, but it's it's looking. The only thing is, I don't know if I can show you, I'll just the feet. The feet need work. <laughs> I just like being there a bit puzzled. Out. I I might try and build them up with like um, you know a roll. Uh, a real light sort of um, grey marker, you know, sort of like try and build in the toes, try and do the shapes of them and do that, but I'll do that last, you know. <laughs> Feet always cause a problem sometimes. But I quite like, quite like the colours actually, this. So far anyway, it's, um, it's building up the fleshy colours and it's, uh, making it different from the reference drawing that I was using as well because it's more of my own drawing now so um, I think on this eye it needs more like more type of an orangey colour so I'll try and figure that out don't know, sanguine hmm let me try a bit of that again I'm not colouring too hard just just keep adding layers of this you know over the top again I need to keep a reflection sort of bit there free that it's going to be totally white
can still probably do with a darker red, I think. At the base of the eye, all around the eye, actually. But I'll try and work on it, needs a good deep orange right around the Bright of an orange one. What's this one? Terracotta. Ah, that might do it. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Hmm. I will press hard on this with this pencil. I don't think it needs to be a an obvious orange right in the center. I think. Building up the layers. I'll do on that bit as well. Right, I've got a lighter orange, but I think it's too bright. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. No, it's a good orange. It's a good one. Remember to keep that, that section there white. <laughs> Nearly forgot then. Or oh, free from pencil there, and I can just add a white bit of paint or something. Or don't know. We'll see. The thing is, with each shade of orange or red, you've got to blend it into the the previous one all the time. Girls come here and watch these. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. According to my um, analytics, um, it's mainly like um, what people over the age of forty more people watching a lot of my videos. Something like that. If I check my statistics, sort of thing. Blending nice actually. Don't think there's any yellow on it, but I think I can add a nice golden yellow um, just around certain areas once I've sorted this out. This orange. for that type of one.
so that orange blend it out a bit more. Just leaving that white, it looks like a reflection anyway. So, just have to build on that and try and work on it a bit more. Let me keep them. I need to organize this uh, desk that I'm <laughs> I've got all pencils and paints everywhere. Keep that orange because I might need that. Right, I need a darker red, some kind of. Uh, Dark red that's gonna, or even a brown as well. Maybe an Indian red there, which looks like a brown, but it's not. Maybe use a bit of that. Then I can sort of like re blend, you know, back into what I've already done, make it a bit darker. So the good thing about these is you can, you know, do that with these. If I was using Prismacolor, um, it'd leave it a bit more waxy, the surface. Since these polychroma pencils are like um, oil based, you can you can usually work some of them in, you know, back into the, you know, the, you know, blend them together a bit better. So, you know, as well, I mean, Prismacolors, you can do that, but I usually find them a bit waxy, you know. Yeah, so we're adding some darker shades here that we can work with. Blend all the way back in. So I think the focus is on that eye, <laughs> and then you know the eyeball. That's the first thing I notice about you know when you're looking at this. Um, it's the huge eyeball, you know, it's, it's like the feature of the drawing. Obviously I'm not going to totally finish this drawing in this stream, but I'm getting there. There'll be a few like, probably small details that I'll probably do after the stream, but we're getting there, we're getting there with this. slightly red as well so maybe use a bit of this just to go around the outside of the eyes can't really see them on this because the this light at the top's just shining a bit too bright but I'm gonna get some more daylight bulbs and maybe try and have a bit more lighting and maybe angle the lightning a bit well not the lightning the lighting a bit away from the desk, you know, that's shining on it, so hopefully I, I won't get that glare at the top, you know, if I'm working on larger pieces like this. Just need to figure out stuff like that. But yeah, it's looking, it's looking how I want it now, I think. Definitely. Maybe there's got to be uh, just some blood drips on here. Just mark them in with this. And like blood 
loads me is as well. Just yeah, just add them in there. I think that's good to add that there. Do some lighter drips here that have just blend them in. I've like soaked into the the clothing a bit. See that they're totally dark. Just suggest it, I think. here which I can try and do a bit more of these veins I don't know if that's going to show up that shows up a little bit over these type of being things there. There's maybe other bit, bits of blood on his trousers as well. So it's gotta try and fit bits in there. Little details, you know. Um, It's definitely not finished, but I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, I think you can see the reflection on there, but I'd probably like add maybe like a bit more of a whiter sort of um, thing there. Don't think it'll show up with paint pen. Don't think it will. Show up on there. I'll need some proper paint. Yeah, so I'll leave it there. Um, quite like it so far. Just, just like I said, the feet just need a bit more work. But um, yeah, I like the colouring of it so far. So it's getting there. So yeah, I hope you like that. Um, sort of a colouring sort of demonstration um, but I'd like to do like a really in-depth video where I just like uh, colour for quite some time um, but yeah I need to like stock up on a lot of uh, Copic markers just to you know fill in the gap sort of thing I would like to do a bit more blue um, here and there just to bring out that but yes it looks okay for now I quite like it I like the, the colours. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I'll say thanks for watching, as I always do. And thanks for commenting and liking the video and all that. Um, I'm going to try and do another video uh, tomorrow, but it'll be earlier tomorrow, I think, because it's uh, Friday, so I'm going to be a bit busy doing other stuff. But I'm going to try and do one. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.